yourself as the owner of Wild Cats and helping and combining the links. We know the links are up for sale at the moment. You own another WNBL club. How does the, co- how does the combination work with it and, and Wild Cats, well, you've got Spirit and now you're combining with links away? Well, I think as Simon uh, articulated, the Perth links are such an important part of WA life. It's great that Fiona and her team have been part of this partnership and this creates such an opportunity for young, talented female athletes in the state. Uh, there's a huge aspiration, as Fiona so eloquently put, to play at the elite level. And this partnership helps that. And I think it's great that a unbelievably influential West Australian business that, I met, as I mentioned, has 17,000 West Australian staffers, 11,000 contractors, cares so much about their employees in regional areas, in the city, here around the corner, two blocks and beyond, has sought to put such support behind the talent, the grassroots, the pathway, the academies and the opportunity of women's basketball. And I think that's really incredible. And also the men's game. And this is a really great day for WA basketball. This is the basketball state of Australia. Without question, now women and men are going to have the most magnificent opportunity to play as well as attend and participate, not only at the elite level, but at grassroots level. So again, I thank Simon and his team for that opportunity uh, across both groups. You know, they're obviously looking for a a partner or a buyer. Are you a chance now that you're linking up with this to potentially buy another sporting endeavour to add to your conglomerate? Our our commitment is to help wherever we can. Um, And so as a business, as a Wildcats organisation, as an SEN organisation, we're right behind Fiona and her team on however they want to grow and develop their uh, state association, but also the Perth Links. So help and support is our job if, if required and offered, and we're always here to help. But I think I think, I, I think think today's about uh, this amazing announcement that gives the greatest opportunity yet for Perth Links to be the elite team that it always has been and can continue to be. Obviously, WA is a big state as well, and we mentioned that um, you know that there's some athletes who pretend to sorry, perhaps have some barriers getting into it. So, is this just an opportunity to get more of those kids in the sport? Without question, like this sport is magnificent. It is such a connector of communities, towns. I think Simon, who comes from a regional background himself, has got a great feel for what the effect it has on a country town, let alone a, a thriving metropolitan city like Perth. Uh, one of the challenges we have as a state. Uh, if one might um, include myself in the state narrative for just a moment without uh, offence, is more courts, more opportunities to play, uh, participation. The way the game is growing versus the number of places we have to play it is something that we all as sports fans need to address. This partnership will go a long way to enriching that pathway for junior athletes. And I think it's fantastic that Simon and his team saw the opportunity to invest in community. The, the Rio business has been famous for its incredible contribution at grassroots pathway development, social commitment in recent years, and to have basketball part of that narrative and benefit from it is is tremendous. Obviously, um, women's sport as a whole is growing, not only in WA, but in Australia. How much um, of a difference will this make in just raising that profile in WA? Well, I think this partnership has the, the ability to transform the elite game in WA. Perth Links are amazing in what they do. Um, the fact that the, the grassroots in WA uh, is, is nourished and rewarded from this partnership. The elite team is uh, part of the narrative and committed to being in those communities like our team, the Wildcats. And I don't mean to speak for Fiona, who will, who will speak for, for the Lynx and herself, but I think it's a, a tremendous opportunity for the women's game. As a business, uh, we, have, we own five sports teams, three of them in the women's sport space. I think we're all inspired by what the Matildas did recently, but it's just one of many sports where uh, elite female athletes are leading the way. And um, the opportunity now here to make basketball an even bigger part of that is a, is a great one. Thanks so much. And Craig's put that really eloquently. Um, but there's no question basketball in WA is absolutely booming. We've got 65,000 uh, participants and we reckon we've got upwards of 10,000 uh, people on waiting lists uh, right across um, this great state. We have associations all the way from Broome and to, to Esperance. So this partnership and that investment in our community is absolutely huge. So that the, the ability to continue that women's pathway that Basketball WA is so incredibly passionate about and providing that support for our, the, the Perth links and, and uh, ongoing is absolutely fantastic. So thank you. Does this mean the, the sale sign comes down from the link? I'm not sure I'd like to use the word the sale sign. Uh, we're certainly, as a board, we're absolutely committed to finding the right um, partner um, uh, to 
to look after the links moving forward. We would still like to have some involvement in, in the Perth Links program because th that pathway is really, really important to us. Um, we are still exploring um, options and opportunities. The partnership with Rio Tinto goes some way to that, um, but we've still got a bit of a way to go um, for uh, ongoing financial sustainability of the links. How significant is this from a percentage point of view for what you actually needed? I can't, can't make, make comment, comment on, on that. It's commercial and confidence. I'm sorry. Thank you. I guess then without putting a figure on it or anything, um, you know, where does this kind of sponsorship rank comparatively? You know? how much of a difference will it actually make? Huge, absolutely huge difference to, to, the, to the Perth Lynx and to Basketball WA. It's a significant sponsorship for us. Um, at the moment, we've signed a one-year agreement with Rio. We hope we will see that continue. Uh, we'd also hope to see that grow um, from a women's participation point of view. To give you confidence that it's more likely than not then that the Lynx would survive in their current form? We would, Basketball WA and the board are absolutely committed to ensuring the Perth Lynx continues. In this, oh, sorry, in this current form, under the basketball WA banner rather than moving I won't predict what the future is going to hold, but we are absolutely committed to ensuring that we find the right partner for the Perth Lynx program. And for young WA athletes and basketball players specifically who can you know, look at that almost pathway into the links, how much more beneficial is it that this program's been expanded, that they can kind of look now and say, hey, I have to do this to get to the next step and then eventually be fine. Oh, look, absolutely. Um, I'll, I'll make a comment about our NBL One West Grand Final. Um, it was held a few weeks ago. Our women's game, total and utter sellout. First time ever in the history of the National Basketball, National Basketball League West competition. Um, it tells you how much our women's program is absolutely booming across the state. And this investment by Rio Tinto into our women's program and our pathways is really, really significant. So we thank them.